calculator technique for partial fraction decomposition. So as you recall, there are three types of uh, partial fractions. But yung titingnan mo is yung denominator ng uh, rational expression mo. So pag yung type 1, meaning lahat ng factors niya, puro linear lang. For type 2, repeated linear, meaning linear pa din siya, for example, x plus a, pero na naka-ratio to um, an exponent greater than 1. So, ito yung form ng partial fraction niya. And then, for type 3, you have uh, quadratic factors, pero you have to take note na dapat prime quadratic factor siya, meaning non-factorable yung quadratic mo. Kasi, for example, meron ka dito ang quadratic um, factor and then factorable pa pala siya then mali yung makukuha mong answer so yung mga inote mo dito is number one pag yung denominator mo is linear dun sa form of partial fraction mo pag linear yung denominator constant yung numerator and then pag quadratic na yung denominator mo linear naman yung um, numerator mo. In short, yung numerator should be one degree less than the denominator. Number two na dapat inote mo is, i-check mo yung degree ng denominator. For example, yung sa dito, yung degree dito is three. So, dapat, kung ano yung degree ng original denominator mo, yun din yung equivalent yung dapat sa number of constant dun sa partial fractions mo. So, let's start with type 1. Ito yung non-repeated linear factors. So, meaning lahat ng factors sa denominator dapat linears lang lahat and walang repeated factor. So, for example, uh, resolve interpartial fractions the expression 11 minus 3x over x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, pag ito, for example, hindi ka sure if factorable siya or hindi, pwede mo namang i-check sa calculator. Uh, punta ka dun sa mode, 5, and then 3, kasi hanapin natin yung roots ng quadratic expression mo. So, 1x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, na yung roots niya, Pag nakita mo na yung lumabas na answer is, or are um, either fractional or whole number meaning factorable yung quadratic ma. So yung roots are 1 and negative 3, meaning yung factors niya are x minus 1 and x plus 3. Or pag magaling ka na mag, um, mag factor, pwede mo din kasi ni check na dapat yung sum of constants mo dito, negative 1 plus 3, equal yan dapat dun sa coefficient ni x. So, 2, correct? And then, yung product naman ni negative 1 and 3, that's negative 3, dapat equal dun sa constant ng quadratic expression mo. So, na na-establish na natin na type 1 siya, kasi linear and non-repeated yung denominator, meaning, meaning ito yung form ng partial fractions mo. So, we need to solve for A and B. Yung gagamitin natin dito and sa mga succeeding pa na examples ay yung tinatawag na cover-up method. So, ito yung mangyayari. If you want to solve for A, so, dito ka titingin na, if you want to solve for A, i-cover mo yung x minus 1. And then, i-input mo yung remaining expression dun sa calculator. So, sa mode 1 lang, enter 11 minus 3 x over, kung ano na lang yung matira, x plus 3. And then, i-count mo siya dun sa value. Di ba yung nahanap na value dito is yung sa a? I-substitute mo yung value ni x, which will make the denominator 0. So, in this case, x minus 1, magzi 0 to if x is 1. So, pag-count mo ng 1, yung makuhang sagot, yun na yung value ni A. So, A is 2. Then, continue mo. To solve for B, we need to cover x plus 3. 
and then repeat mo yung process um ito pala dun sa calculator hindi mo na i-press yung AC kasi pwede mo na lang i-edit yung denominator yung mag-change na kasi dito is yung denominator mo lang so na is x minus 1 we need to solve for b so uh, press calc and then ano yung magpapa 0 dun sa denominator so in this case uh, x should be negative 3 ito yung value ni b so negative 5 ito yung, na yung partial fraction decomposition ng original expression natin dito so that's for type 1 for non-repeated linear factors. Next for type 2, ito na yung repeated repeated linear factors. So pag tiningnan mo yung sa given, uh, linear sila lahat, pero in this case yung x minus 1 repeated siya meaning dalawa yung x minus 1 dun sa expression mo. So recall na ganito dapat yung form pag repeated so x minus 3 isa lang siya pero yung x minus 1 is uh, twice nag appear dun sa original given so dalawa yung expression mo yung raised to 1 and raised to 2 so again yung goal dito is to solve for a b and c so the same pa din yung gagamitin is yung cover up method so halimbawa Iko cover ko yung x plus 3 para masog ko yung value ni a. So, balik din sa calculator. Uh, enter mo yung natirang expression. That's 5x squared minus 2x minus 19 over the quantity x minus 1 squared. And then, ano yung rule ulit? I substitute mo yung value ni x na magpapa 0 dun sa denominator niya. So in this case, calc mo siya at x equals negative 3. So, meaning a is 2. So para hindi mo din makalimutan, pwede mo yung store sa a. So that's shift at yung rcl. And then press mo yung letter kung saan mo siya gusto ni store. So dito gusto ko siyang store sa a. So you press a. Now, ito yung uh, different sa type 2 kasi um, between B and C, yung directly makuha natin from the cover-up method is yung C, yung C lang. Kung ano yung nakarace dun sa original exponent ni x minus 1. Or pwede din yung, yung may highest na exponent dun sa x minus 1 mo. So directly masasolve yung uh, value ni C, if we cover naman natin next is yung x minus 1 squared. So, balik din sa calculator. Uh, pag na-delete, i-input mo na lang ulit. 2x minus 19. Na na yung natira sa denominator is x plus 3. Yung magpapa 0 dito sa denominator ni C is if x is 1. So, ito na yung value ni C. Negative 4. Store natin dun sa C. Now, ito yung uh, medyo tricky na part yung pag-solve for B. Pero yung shortcut dito is remember na yung original degree ng denominator mo is 3. That's 2. Tapos may 1 ka dito. Pag ito yung buong expression na to na degree 3, i-multiply mo dun sa right side ng equation. ba may degree 1 ka dito. Degree 1, ito degree 2. Pag multiply mo ng degree 3 sa lahat ng expression dito kasi distribute mo Meaning, yung matira sa A is degree 2, degree 2, and degree 1. Kasi parang magsasubtract yung degree nila. In short, um, parehong A and B yung magkakaroon ng degree 2. Hindi degree 1 na lang dun sa, sa C. Kasi degree 2 siya, ito degree 3. Pag multiply mo again, ito mag degree 1 na lang. So, meaning, yung sum dapat ni A and bb kasi diba degree 2 yung mag multiply dun sa, b, sa a and b I equate mo yan dun sa degree 2 din dito I equate mo dun sa coefficient yun na 5 and then let's solve for b so yung trick sa calculator is after yung equation pwede mo yung lagyan ng comma that's shift close parenthesis and then ilagay mo yung variable so yung interpretation ng calculator dito is 
uh, yung isasolve niya dun sa equation mo is yung D. So, pag press mo ng shift calc or solve, uh, substitute mo yung A na nakuha kanina. Pero dahil nakastore yun kanina, no need na to substitute again. So, diretso mo na lang yung equal sign and then um, solve ka for B. Now, B is 3. So, pwede mo din yung store sa B. So, again, A is uh, 2. B is 3. And then, C is negative 4. So, ito yung uh, partial fraction decomposition ng given natin na expression. And this is for type 2. And then, last is yung for type 3. Almost the same pa din yung process. Gagamitin natin yung cover-up method. Now, by the way, bakit to considered as type 3 at hindi type 1 or type 2? Well, meron kasi dito uh, x squared plus 2, which is quadratic. And if i-check mo yan, gamit yung mode equation 3, kunin mo yung roots ni x squared plus 2, that's 1. Ito 0, kasi wala kang uh, x, and then constant is 2. Ito nag-imaginary. So, pag yung lumabas dun sa calculator mo is either imaginary, by the way, always yan um, complex conjugate. So, pag yung lumabas is complex conjugate or uh, naka decimal siya or pwede ding naka radical, automatic, non-factorable na yung quadratic mo. Pero we have to take note na yung root niya is square root of 2 times i and negative square root of 2 times i. Kasi gagamitin natin to na value mamaya. So, pag nakita mong type 3, pwede din isat mo na lang siya diretso sa mode 2. So, review natin kanina. To solve for c, by cover-up method, dapat i-cover ko yung x plus 1 dun sa expression sa left side. And then, input mo dun sa calculator, 7x squared plus 5x plus 13 over x squared plus 2. And then, i-calc mo again yung, x, yung value ni x na magpa-zero dun sa denominator ni c. So, that's negative 1. So, ito, c is 5. So, meron ka ng value ni c. The same process then To solve for a and b, we need to cover x squared plus 2. So, dun sa calculator, yung natira na lang is 7x squared plus 5x plus 13. Pero this time, yung, din, yung denominator, I mean, is x plus 1 na lang. Ika-calc mo na ngayon yung root niya kanina kasi yung root, di ba, is yung value ng quadratic expression na mo na magpapa-zero sa kanya. 2i, that's square root of 2 times i. Sa so, ito yung nakuha, 3 plus 2 square root of 2i. Pero remember na yung numerator kasi dito is ax plus b. So, parang sabay natin kukunin yung value nila. So, tandaan to na value, 3 plus 2 square root of 2i. At yung i-equate mo sa ax plus b. So, that's equal to 3 plus 2 square root of 2i. But remember na yung x kanina, para makuha to na value is square root of 2 times i. So, pwede mo na to split, analyze mo yung real part, equate mo, and then equate mo din yung imaginary part. So, dun sa imaginary part, yung may i lang, diba dito is uh, a times square root of 2, dun sa kabila, 2 square root of 2. So, parang magka-cancel out yung square root of 2. Hindi A is 2. And then, dun sa real part, uh, B lang yun sa left side, 3, 3 lang yun sa right side. So, automatically, B equals 3. So, in short, uh, A is 2, B is 3, and C is 5. 